I am really lucky to have an outdoor park to my classroom and this is free flow so the children have access to this all day every day and they can go in and out as they choose. Same expectations inside as outside and I am really lucky because we can come out in all weather because ours is completely covered by this amazing um, roof. So outside I have things like sand and water, mud kitchen, big building and a gardening area. We've still got some lovely tomatoes coming from last year. Here is my big building. This is brilliant and very, very popular in my class. And if you're lucky enough to have a little space, well, you need, you need a decent space for this because the children like to build big. Variety of tires, planks, cable drums, poles, little bit of netting, and it is stored here all year. Really good because it doesn't have to be under the roof. It can get wet, doesn't really matter. As the year goes on, we then store the planks greater than one meter and less than one meter. Past the garden and under the roof. And under the roof, I have my mud kitchen. So sometimes we put different herbs and plants, petals and flowers, mixing. Sometimes we put some soil. I am lucky that there is a drain just there underneath the planters. So it just gets washed away and down the drain to keep it nice and tidy. Variety of um, pots and capacities, um, some words for measuring and mixing, just an old sink, uh, no plugs turned into a mud kitchen. This side I have the water tray and I keep the water tray here by my door just so that it's easy to fill up. Just fill it up with a bucket from the sink inside and it's really easy and then it just drains down there under the plants when I want to empty it. Sometimes it's just water, sometimes it's coloured water, ice, sometimes I freeze dinosaurs in there. Um, this tough tray is often used for learning that's linked to what we're learning in class so sometimes a rainbow challenge sometimes i just leave it blank or put some paper in there and the children decide what they want to do sometimes cutting skills right at the beginning of the year this year in september i have lots of boys coming who are interested in cars and dinosaurs and dragons so i've made this simple corner with an old cable drum i painted a road underneath I've got a garage turned an old cat scratching post into a dragon land or dinosaur land sometimes they turn it into a fairy garden it's really important to have books everywhere so i've got books outside particularly linked to dinosaurs and cars in this section i'm in the middle of labeling my baskets dragons dinosaurs mammals i'll include birds and insects cars so it's nicely linked to science as well once we've learned the different animal groups I have a small bookshelf for outside and when it's um, back to school time I will put some cushions and a bean bag out here. Some children really like to sit out in the fresh air and read a book. This section is for the more branded construction. So inside I tend to have the loose parts construction. Outside is more Lego, Duplo, trains and track or the marble run, pop tubes polydron those sorts of things um in this little area and i've just put a little bit of astroturf down because the ground's a little bit hard for them to sit on so just got a thick piece of astroturf off cut and put that down there we do have a class snail um a giant african land snail and he is in that tank he's outside at the moment because it's warm enough um, but he will come inside eventually and the children absolutely love taking care of him um so that's what's in that tank this is where the children keep their water bottles this was just an accessory holder from amazon they pop their water bottles in there in the morning outside so they're nice and cool and out of the way and they can access them easily i've just chopped it in half so it's a good height for year one and year two moving along to this little table this is our sort of games table do use it for counting in the first few weeks as well well all year actually but particularly the first few weeks when we're modelling how to use the 100 square for year two or number lines for year one. 
and I've just put a little game of snakes and ladders there while we're um, setting our expectations and listening and communication skills. We'll have a few games of snakes and ladders. Little table here, the children often turn this table into a school role play, so I tend to leave it quite blank. Um, they usually come up with what they need and they gather all their things and they usually set up a little school there um, because I've got the whiteboard. This bench is brilliant and is part of our writing shed. So in the writing shed, they've got pens and pencils, they've got their post box, lots of books that are linked to writing and um, clipboards. And then make a poster, make a list, make a leaflet, write a book, write a postcard, are all ready and available for the children. And they've got all their things outside on this little stand and just organized by color so it's the same as inside and then we have our sand area we have our sand tools on the shelves and our sand is covered at the moment and down here we have our art bench i've put the doll's house outside for now we are going to make our little people i make an individual little jenga brick with each child um, a photograph of each child on and we all move